Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so, 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 so sorry. It has been so long. My camera has literally broke, but now hopefully it will work. I need to delete some of my storage because I've got literally like crap on my filming camera and it all has just been a little bit too much. As you can see by my cat is I am doing a makeup tutorial again and this time I don't know it's just I don't know it's gonna be quite an out there eye and an out there lip I guess but I really hope you like this video so let's get started also, just really, really quickly, um, I am going to be doing a Q&A, so just all of you down there, comment as many questions as you want down below, and I'll answer as many as I can for, um, <clears throat> for my next video, or a few videos, and it doesn't matter if you're the same person, or and you've got like 50 questions, I'm going to try and answer all of them. Also, if there's any other videos you would like me to do, please do comment it down below and I will try my best as quick as I can to do them. I know one of you, one of the viewers called Tammy Taylor, you would like me to do a Poundland makeup, like testing Poundland makeup video and I'm doing that as soon as I can, as soon as I get some spare time and I'm not revising. I'm also doing another video after this, so if you see me wearing the same jumper, that is why. I am going to be filming two videos and the next one is basically school based so stay tuned for that. Finally let's just get on with this makeup tutorial. To start with I'm going to be using this W7 Prime Magic Camera Ready Photo Finish Primer. Okay, oh, it's just so silky smooth and it's just so lovely and I don't know, it's just really nice to like, and it feels quite nice on the skin. Next, I'm going to be using. Next, I'm going to be using the W7. Uh, can't speak. I'm going to be using the W7 Stay Perfect Foundation Non-Stop Complexion Perfection. I'm just also going to be using a Claire's Complexion Beauty Sponge. I'm going to be putting quite a like a quite a bit on this. I don't know why, but I'm oh, so cold. I'm just going to be putting this all over me face. I look so terrifying. This foundation smells. I don't know if it's just because of the beauty blender because it does need a bit of a wash. But yeah, so I'm just going to continue to smooth this over and blend it over my face. I just had to blend a lot with my fingers um, because it was so orange. I think it's still a tiny bit orange. So if you use quite a lot, it is orange, just to warn you. So anyway, next I'm going to be using the Classic Collection Lasting Perfection. I'm just going to be putting it all over my face to brighten it up so it doesn't look orange. I'm literally just going to be putting this everywhere and then just going to be blending it. And this really does brighten up your face. I look so shiny right now. I feel like it looks like I've got loads of, like, the whole pot of, look, look at that. The whole pot, like, or whatever, of highlighter. Ugh. Just, that was just such an ugly face then. Like, but yeah, I'm just going to continue to blend it in. Now I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Matte Makeup Powder and my fluffy powder brush. I'm just going to be dusting this all over my face to set it. Just basically buff your face until you feel like everything is covered. So I'm just going to take this off camera and just continue to pop it on my face. Next I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Glam Bronze Bronzer in number 4. 
I'm also just going to be using an angled fluffy brush. I'm just going to be warming up my cheeks and my temples, my jawline down my neck. And basically the other side, down my nose and the sides, a bit on my eyelid. And that's it. Now I'm going to be using my Benefit Benny Tint. I'm going to drop a tad onto this brush and then slowly build it up. So I'm just so putting it on. I think that's like the perfect amount of blush for like a neutral everyday look. I've got such dry lips. Oh, a notice has just come up. Oh, 10%. I'm trying. So that is basically my blush. Next, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows and I'm going to be using the Rimmel eyebrow pencil in 004 black brown and I'm going to do these off camera because I can't do my brows on camera for some reason I just get really nervous doing them but I can show you the bit where I brush them out just basically to whatever um, shape you want I don't recommend using this particular brush because it's very very spiky and it that just really really hurt and it's making my eyes water. Oh my god, my eyebrows are on point today. Oh my, I can't believe how on point they look. They're like the perfect point at the end. And they just look so cute with these. Oh, I found I've actually like curled my hair as you can see. I don't know if it sinks me or not. Or I should be doing straight hair or just, I don't know. But, I'm actually now going to be moving on to my eyeshadow stick cream crayon thing. So I'm going to be using the Barbara Daily Makeup Long Wear Eyeshadow in Bronze Gold. It just looks like this and it's, it's beautiful. I'm just going to be putting, blah, 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 putting it all over my lid like that. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like. It doesn't matter if it's neat. Um, it doesn't matter if it's messy, just plop it on there. Okay, so I've already blended this eye and I'm just going to be blending this other eye. So you're going to start in the corner and work your way up. And it doesn't matter if it goes a little bit up because that is kind of just like the, um... Smoky eye illusion we want. So you're just going to want to blend this out. And then, like, whatever you want, you can add. If you want, you can put on just a tiny, wincy line in the crease if you only want a little bit. But I just went all out because I love this crayon liner. It is beautiful. And they better keep selling these because I know Barbara Daly. I don't know if they... If they, she sells them anymore. So I am going to be gutted if they don't have them anymore. But I'm just going to continue blending. Add if I want to. And I will show you the finishing touch. Done. I've also put it like under my eye as well. So for my mascara, I'm going to be using the Evelyn Cosmetics. That's what it looks like, like that. Um, Volumix Fibre Lash Ultra Length Curl Up Mascara and oh that's what that bit looks like and the wand is absolutely amazing look at that it is literally the exact dupe of the Better Than Sex Mascara it is literally exactly, exactly the same so I'm going to do this eye off camera and then try to do a little bit of this eye on um, the camera so I'm going to do this side off and then on. First eye is done you don't even feel like oh god I don't even feel like I'm wearing mascara so I'm just going to be doing the 
other eyeball and I'm just going to be slightly wiggling it and then doing constant strokes I'm trying to get in the inner corner of my eye also this might be quite boring just watching me do mascara they can be like stupid faces but I don't know, you can always skip it a tad. Just get in the inner one. I never get that one. Quite down. Okay, and then just do the bottom lashes and then you are done with the mascara. Okay, so that is done. I'm also sporting an orange juice. I love orange juice, it's amazing. Mm. Yum. And I just absolutely love it. To be honest, I think it is amazing. I can't go high anymore. I used to be going so squeaky like, ah, but I just can't anymore. I don't know why. But it's time for highlight I love highlights so much it is okay so anyway this got well this video automatically got weird um but for my highlight I'm going to be using the Benefit High Beam and a fluffy highlighter brush the reason I love this so much is well at the back it says it's got a satiny pink complexion uh so it really does it is just amazing you can just put like one tiny bit on it and you can spread it up your cheeks like this or your nose on Cupid's bow anywhere you want to put your highlight under your brow bone and it is amazing it's just got the perfect texture I'm not really into cream highlight but it is truly amazing so I'm just going to put it on the point of my face where I want to highlight it and then I'm going to show you me like blending it and things like that that's one cheek I'm going to do like one feature at a time, otherwise it could set and it'll just be like a massive thing on my face. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. It's so pretty. I don't know if you can see that, but I put a tiny bit on my nose and I'm just going to blend around my nose. Kind of put it up the bridge of my nose as well. And it just gives it quite a nice glow. And I'm just going to put like a tiny dot again on my cupid's bow. And then I am done with the highlight. <sighs> Lastly, but not least, I have got the Collection Matte Lip Butter in number 3 Crimson Velvet. So it just looks like that. The packaging is nice and like... Plain but I absolutely love it. And then the colour, if it will focus. I don't think it's going to focus, but that is what it looks like. It is just mm, so good. I don't know what I would do without this product. As you can see, I've used it a lot. So I'm just going to plop it on my lips. And now just doing it on the bottom. Of my lips and I know I was just like really close to the camera because I want to get it perfect I bet you that it will not go perfect because I'm filming it <laughs> I just like realized that was such like an awkward angle of that <laughs> I'm going to finish the rest on camera and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so guys, that is the end of this makeup look. I hope you guys like it. It was like a warm golden brown and a... What do you call this? Cherry lip. So I really hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe. If you're not already, it would mean the world to me. And you can join, again, as I said before, my weird 
strange family <laughs> and I'm also hopefully getting a camera for Christmas and a tripod and a few bits and bobs of equipment so I'm contemplating whether to start doing vlogs for you if you really want me to do vlogs comment it down below and also I don't really know what to say like how to put it into words like and also as I said before the Q&A um, even if it's just like one person just comment like loads of questions if you wish and I will answer them for you into a, a video so there's no well obviously <laughs> There's like no limit of questions. Like if I, I will try to answer all of them. So just comment down below all your questions, and I will just try and answer them all in a new video for you guys. Because I love you. Yeah, I love you loads. I will see you guys very very soon. Bye.